guys Ken here from Malaysia I'm at a different Toys R Us store today checking out the situation with the Lightyear movie toys one year after the film's release and guess what they're all still here may I remind you also that this is a similar situation at every Toys R Us store here in Malaysia one of the greatest sci-fi based toy lines of all time in my opinion left to waste on the shelves because no one cared it should have been the biggest animated movie of 2022 it's got an iconic lead character taken straight from one of the biggest kids franchises in history. I myself, in my film distribution career, I've worked on the releases for both Toy Story 3 and 4 in Malaysia. The last one in 2019 clocked in at something like a billion dollars worldwide. So Lightyear should have been a slam dunk. But no! Okay, family audiences worldwide rejected some of the movie's themes that they felt were better suited for adult audiences. At the end of the day, Look, it doesn't matter who's right or wrong, who's hot, who's not, because when it comes to the movies, the only thing that matters is the box office. And the Lightyear movie was one of the biggest money-losing flops in history. Now look, I've been singing the praises of this Lightyear XL15 jet, absolutely the best toy jet released last year in 2022. The design is totally retro 80s and will remind you of the jet from Captain Power. However, somehow, it just faded into memory. And you have stuff here like the Zerg arm cannon. Kids could have worn it and gone like... Psh, 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 psh. But no, as you can see, hardly anybody did. Okay, nobody wanted to pick up this arm cannon. They even got Imaginex on board with a very cool version of the XL15 jet. This would have been great for the younger kids, okay, if they even knew about the movie, yeah. Guys, look at the entire valley of these utility vehicle things. The truck reminds me of the Starcom ground vehicles from the 80s. It's big and sturdy. These look great for transport, plowing through things on the road. Yeah, but nobody wanted to buy these or do anything with them. More costume props. Okay, we've got the mission utility belts here. This would have been a cosplayer's dream. Okay, assuming the movie inspired anyone to want to dress up like Buzz, it didn't. Okay, I mean, Buzz is a popular character, right? But no one wanted to play dress up, it seems. And then, check out these huge, huge ass Zerg figures. Man, how can you go wrong with a toy version of this purple robotic alien villain? You tell me, man. It seems it can go all kinds of wrong, okay? Because no one bought these. Now, these six inch scale figures are top quality. Look at them, okay? You could have done a crossover with Mattel's own He Man Masterverse figures. Nobody wanted to. Look at these micro-scale vehicle sets. These should have flown off the shelves, man. Everyone loves micro-scale vehicles, right? Especially like sci-fi vehicles, like Star Wars stuff. Yeah, no, okay? Apparently not when it comes to Lightyear the movie. Now, check out this Armadillo transport vehicle. Isn't this just another amazing vehicle design? You have an opening cargo door here to put troops and stuff inside, okay? But nobody wanted to put anything in there. This is sick, man. Just look at this lineup, guys. Does the company have to pay the store shelf space okay, to just to keep so much unsold stock up for like a year? I don't know, man. Okay, but this Buzz Lightyear electronic figure, okay, uh, that one doesn't work. Batteries probably went dead after a year. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, look at that, man. This thing's got lights, sounds, and speech. It should have been the giant kid's toy of the year. Okay, 12 inch scale kid's release of the year. One in every home. Nobody wanted to take it home. Where'd he go? And of course, there was a ton of other stuff that got produced as well to tie in with the movie, including Lego sets, Hot Wheels sets, plushies, jigsaw puzzles, even the heroes of Gujitsu did a crossover. All of it failed. Okay, but you know what? In a recent interview with Pete Doctor, who's the chief creative officer at Pixar, he had something to say about what he thought was the reason behind Lightyear's failure. And I gotta tell you, I've met Pete Doctor for work a couple of years ago when he was doing the promotion tour and he came down to Malaysia to promote Inside Out. I have to say that as far as creative geniuses go, he's pretty much the real thing. But he had this to say about the failure of Lightyear and he felt that at the time, it was too much to ask of the audience to sort of like just embrace a whole new sci-fi universe that was sort of like related to Toy Story but didn't really feature any of the other sporting cast, okay? And I kind of felt that there was some truth to that as well because sci-fi movies in general just don't seem to do well. 
you know, in most markets around the world, okay, unless it's something like really huge, like Star Wars, and even Star Wars is just going down, okay? To me, the failure of the Lightyear toy line and merchandising is so catastrophic because it's one of those incidences where the toys just went into every single area, every shape, every format, every conceivable type of product release, and nothing worked. And you know what? Honestly, it just didn't deserve that fate.